you. Hillary Clinton making a big push for votes in Rhode Island over the last several days. She was in Providence this past weekend while her husband was here a couple of times leading up to today's primary. Political reporter Bill Rapley joins us now live from the Clinton camp in Providence tonight. Bill? Yeah, I'm outside the Jeep of where the Clinton people will be after they finish their get out the vote efforts. As you pointed out, there was a lot of effort put into winning over voters here in Rhode Island, which has typically been a stronghold for Hillary Clinton. As you said, Hillary Clinton, the candidate herself, stopped off here as well as her husband. When she was here over the weekend, she was accompanied by the entire congressional delegation from Rhode Island. But today, volunteers and staff still working to get backers to the polls. Of course, that being made easier because of those appearances by the candidate and her husband. Uh, having the candidate herself and also her number one surrogate, the president, come in uh, just uh, gets people going. And uh, you know, our offices tend to be flooded immediately afterwards with people who are wanting to volunteer and help out. And so that's uh, what we're doing today is uh, putting these people to work, uh, talking to voters. All the camps trying to get their candidate, get their voters out, and we will see how big that turnout is when the polls close in just a couple of hours, and then we'll find out who ends up on top. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News, live in Providence.